Why haven't I been able to eat fruit or vegetables for over a year? Stick around to find out. Let's go back to organics. Shortly before I started this channel, I started experiencing stomach pain. I kept visiting doctors and kept having different tests done. In the meantime, I started this channel because I love to garden and I wanted to share my knowledge with you and also learn from you guys. After about six months of tests, I was finally given a diagnosis. Crohn's disease. Now, this is a very complex disease, but I will try to sum it up as quickly as I can. In all of our intestines are good bacteria that help us digest and break down food. Well, my immune system has decided that it doesn't like those good bacteria and has launched a war against them. The first stage your body does when it senses an infection is swell and become inflamed. So the insides of my intestines are inflamed and in some places almost swollen shut. Now the food that you eat rubs against the sides and can cause ulcers. In my particular case, it affects my entire small intestine, but it can affect anything from top to bottom. Now with all this swelling, I have to be very careful with what food I eat because I have almost constant nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Fruits and vegetables are especially bad because they have a lot of fiber in them. That fiber acts like tiny shards of glass and really grind at my ulcers. If I eat too much fiber, I start to bleed, and when that happens, surgery is generally the only option. Once they remove the area that is causing the problems, there's no guarantee the Crohn's won't just reoccur in the same place. Now, not every Crohn's patient is the same. Some can handle certain fruit or vegetables. But in my case, to avoid pain and bleeding, I cannot eat fruit or vegetables. I mainly eat white bread and eggs. I cannot have any seasoning or pepper, and no herbs. Now because of all of this, my body does not absorb much of what I eat, which causes me to have very little energy. In July of 2016, I started taking a drug called the Remicade. For this drug, you have to sit in a chair and have an IV for about three hours to get the medication. Almost immediately after my first time getting the medicine, I had severe joint pain. It got so bad that I could not stand or walk. My wife would have to help or almost carry me to the bathroom. And I've lost over 60 pounds without even trying. Eventually, at the end of December 2016, I decided to reject the medication and not take it any longer. Needless to say, my doctor did not like that and so I had to find a new one. But slowly, the joint pain got better and better until I could stand and then I could walk. And now I have the willpower to do things, but I often struggle with the energy still. And that's just going to be how it is for the rest of my life. So you might ask yourself, what about your gardening? Are you still going to do that? And the answer is yes. I'm still going to garden, even though I can't eat any of it. I just love doing it. So please forgive me if my videos are not as frequent. I'm going to try to make them as often as I can. In my next video, I'm going to talk about something that I'm using that's actually helping my chronic disease and can help many others, so stick around for that video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more organic gardening tips and how-tos.